Hi dear friends and subscribers of uh, Cricket Happenings, uh, welcome to, his, uh, to this Cricket Happening show uh, as usual with your host Ram and uh, we are, I'm, I'm going to talk about this Big Bash League match which was a one of one, of one match in which uh, Chris Gale uh, shattered a record which was his own uh, for quite some time by today he reeled off a century of just 54 balls uh, for, the, uh, for the Sydney Thunder uh, against uh, uh, the Adelaide Strikers. Uh, in fact, the Adelaide Strikers were the ones who actually took uh, first strike uh, and they, con uh, they made 156 for 8. And in reply, Chris Gale reeled off a century of just 54 deliveries. Now, that is a record as far as uh, Australian T20 domestic uh, innings is concerned. The, the record was being held by Chris Gale. In fact, Chris Gale uh, went one better by registering his first century in domestic uh, in Australian uh, domestic cricket. As you, as you know, he has been playing for uh, the teams uh, in Australia, and today he registered a century of just 54 deliveries. And what a dangerous batsman he is! Just uh, I, I I really feel grieved by the fact that West Indies uh, team are missing the services of Chris Gale, uh, who is not not at all. I mean nowadays as you know he's not playing in the West Indian team for quite some time due to whatever differences but let me tell you what a difference he makes in fact he took them to a he, he reeled off a century of just 54 deliveries uh, in fact the sixes were more than the boundaries that he hit he had 11 sixes and three fours uh, in that stupendous knock of his century which took them to victory uh, there was a time uh, when between the 12th and the 16th overs uh, the 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 uh, the uh, Sydney, uh, the Sydney Thunder's innings was uh, really, really, you know, squeezed out uh, due to uh, some very, very tight balling by the Adelaide striker spinners, uh, and it took Chris Gale uh, to get them out of that because uh, what happened was uh, uh, Chris Gale uh, had to uh, really uh, get the next over was to be bowled by Bryce McGain, uh, which was thundered down the ground for three sixes uh, by Chris Gale. And uh, the run rate actually between the 12th and the 16th overs rose to uh, 9 runs per over and Chris Gale's hitting brought it down to 5 runs per over and finally uh, the, the, uh, the victory was secured by Chris Gale. Now Sydney Thunder won this match by 6 wickets and what a match, I said uh, it was absolutely Chris Gale, thunderous as ever, he went on to make a century of 54 deliveries, 11 sixes and three only three boundaries so just imagine the number of sixes he hit uh, he's such a wonderful player to have for any side i would say he's a marvel i would say and adelaide strikers definitely missed the striking power of uh, kieron pollard who was injured who couldn't take uh, couldn't take part that would have made a big difference but well chris gale is such a player that you can go miles to see this uh, man uh, bat actually anybody who didn't watch it would have missed it century of 54 balls 11 sixes and 3 fours. So Adelaide Strikers made 155 for 8, uh, batting first here at the uh, at the SCG uh, with uh, Klinger, uh, the captain, making only 6 runs of 7 balls with 1 4. Harris made 19 of 17 balls, uh, no boundaries. Aiden Blizzard, 20 of 13 balls with 3 fours. Uh, Callum Ferguson was out for 2. Borgas, 24 of 26 with 1 4. Johan Botha was the highest with 41 of 35 balls with 5 fours. 18 coming from crossweight of 12 deliveries with 3 fours. 11 of 5 deliveries for uh, Richardson, who was run out 1 4 and 1 6. Uh, and uh, I don't know, Brian was not out on 6. So 155 all out. And uh, Sydney Thunders uh, taking this match by. And uh, let's look at the balling figures. Doran, 1 for 25. Edwards was uh, good, 2 for 35. None for 9 for Chris Gale. Uh, Dougie Ball injured 3 overs, cost him 27 runs. Coit was 4 overs, 1 for 35. But let us look at the balling figures uh, of the Adelaide Strikers ballers because Sydney Thunder, Chris Gale, uh, not out on 100, taking them to a, a six wicket victory. Uh, Smith was uh, out early on. Ball by O'Brien, the spinner for Aaron O'Brien, for 6 of 9 balls with 1 4. Usman Khwaja contributed only 15 of 16 balls with 1 4. Uh, Dunk made 8 of 11 balls. Phil Philipson was the one who occupied the crease and that was time when uh, Gale really really e exploded I would say. Uh, Philipson was, old, he was kept quiet by O'Brien and O'Brien picked up his wicket for 2 of 8 balls. Floros was not out on 17, 156 for 4 in the 19th over. Chris Gale finishing it off 
for his team, Sydney Thunder. And uh, let me tell you, there was another thunderous batsman who was not on duty to win. That was David Warner, who would be duty doing duty for Australia against India in the Boxing Day Test and probably preparing there at the uh, training camp there. And just imagine if Chris Gale and uh, David Warner were together at the crease on that particular day, what would have happened? Probably Chris Gale could have not gone to a century then. But uh, just uh, take a bow, Chris Gale, a century of 54 balls, 3 fours, 11 sixes, out of a score of 156. Uh, the victory coming in the 18.3 overs. Alfonso Thomas, 4 overs, went for 27. Botha, 3.3 overs, 1 made and 1 for 23. Richardson, 4 overs, none for 31. Aaron O'Brien, 4 overs for 26. Bryce McGain was 2 overs for 21. And 1 over for 20 for Cameron Borgas. So uh, that is as far as the match scores as with the Big Bash League is concerned. Now, uh, the other thing, uh, well, uh, as you know, the preparations are going on for the Boxing Day Test, which is going to be starting on 26th. Uh, we are also going to have the match against uh, from South Africa and Australia, which should be so from Sri Lanka, which will be starting on Boxing Day. Um, other than that, uh, I don't have uh, much to really, really cover. Uh, uh, just knowing that you know uh, the series in uh, January uh, 2012 is going to start, and that would be uh, between. Uh, Pakistan and England, which will be happening in the uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, so that is something. And Ms. Bawal the captain Pakistan, uh, sounded very saying that, you know, England are number one in the world and Pakistan have just gone about Sri Lanka being number five in the world now with their tremendous performance this year in 2011, especially towards the latter stages. Um, and Ms. Bawal has uh, clearly said that, you know, uh, his boys need to do much better because they are going to be playing a world outfit which is number one in the world and why not they have to really play out of the skins against England in the United Arab Emirates so probably one thing uh, which would be going well for uh, Pakistan uh, would be that they have good uh, good knowledge of the conditions in the United Arab Emirates they are playing a lot of matches in this neutral avenue uh, venues and uh, you know England are the ones who have to uh, really do something there and as far as India Australia is concerned um, I'm sure uh, the, they got two matches there and uh, they played those two matches uh, against the Cricket Australia Chairman 11. They probably got acclimatized to the weather. They have sent a few ballers uh, early on uh, to get acclimatized to the Australian conditions. So one has to see how things really pan out for India against Australia because normally, as is the case, uh, nowadays things have changed. Uh, previously, I do remember that uh, they used to... Uh, and for India, there's uh, many things to do because, as you know, abroad they have not been doing well of late, I would say, because... Uh, against England in England they really um, struggled there and uh, they got a drubbing so but uh, so after that this is the first time they are going abroad after the drubbing they received from England so whether they are going to put it across Australia that's going to be the question and the key will be whether Zahir Khan and Ishan Sharma will man the pace resources for India at the Boxing Day test that's it from me your host Ram for this cricket show for today I will see you tomorrow on my next cricket show until then it's goodbye thank you